Greetings, troubled a return to Haven listeners. This is your host with the most, though I hate to boast, Rich French. And what you are accessing now is a small segment from our companion series, Troubled with Extra Syrup, which you can listen to on our second tier level on Patreon. Enjoy. Take a seat with us at the Grey Gull and get the pancakes ready, because Trouble with Extra Syrup is here to fill that craving for more Haven-related content. Welcome to our Patreon-exclusive series of episodes, uh, Trouble with Extra Syrup. There's the title again, just in case you missed it. There's just so much to talk about, and we wanted to make sure that we cover material that may be outside the episodes. So we'll be covering anything that might pertain to Haven, Stephen King, Sci-Fi Channel, maybe do a travel blog for Maine, whatever. That's the Extra Syrup. Uh, I'm your host, Alex French. And I'm your co-host, and the reason why Alex hit the genetic jackpot, Rich French. Yeah, more like the bottom of the Petri dish. Um, So this episode, we're doing a album review. So we've taken all the songs, not the original content, not the original songs made by the composer, but pre-existing songs made uh, used in the show, not made for the show, but used in the show. We kind of put them together in a playlist and treated it as if it was its own album. And we're going to kind of review it here. Uh, So we'll talk about the songs, like what's our favorites, what's the worst, how it fit the show, and what we think might fit the show better in those spots. So yeah, we'll just jump right in and we'll kind of talk about the songs first. So first song played in episode one was Love Will Keep Us Together by Captain Tennille. Uh, We talked about about it a bit uh, in the episode. Uh, one of our my co-host is not a big fan of Captain Tennille. Well, are you not a big fan of Captain Tennille or just the song? Do you like other Captain Tennille songs? There's one from '79 that I that I kind of kind of like. And uh, is it something about your body or some, something? Do it to me one more time. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. Took a second for me, me to for it to come back. But yeah, do it to me for one more time was kind of a '79 the disco era, and my older sister half sister liked uh like disco so i would hear and it was a catchy song so they had one song i like you know though the, the, they had a hit song earlier in the 70s with muskrat love i was just looking at it, i was like muskrat love. they had their own tv show you got to look him up on wikipedia the picture of him with this dumb turtleneck that says captain on the i don't want to talk too much shit because he just died in 2019 but right this, yeah. this fucking shirt that says captain on the front looks hilarious okay so we'll talk more about them later uh, a lot of the a lot of the songs are actually moving on after that a lot of the songs are by a band called sweet talk radio we kind of mentioned them briefly in uh our main podcast but we wanted to save it for this so in episode three we kind of see the first sweet talk radio song which is chance to dream then they have episode four's only song with dance with me uh they have a song in episode five called we all fall down they have an episode a song in episode seven called my hallelujah uh in episode eight if i couldn't have you and in episode 12 dotted lines so yeah, they, they hit they, they hit the sweet talk radio pretty hard on the soundtrack yeah so they're like uh what like folky kind of like uh ethereal uh, uh, kind of uh i'm a poppy folk like yeah it, it, it's, it's it's poppy folk i mean she plays the ukulele on songs he'll 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 bust out a banjo yeah. which uh, it done right banjo is awesome like uh with pine grove uh, when they do banjo it's great so they, they cover a lot of the stuff and uh i assumed they were uh from Canada, they just seem Canadian with the musical style, but uh, turns out they're from LA, and that's that's where they, <laughs> that's where uh, Pillar uh, Ernst Dunn Pillar and Siegel, that's where they must know them from the LA. To date, this podcast is October 2020, and I was looking up shows they were doing, but they obviously haven't been doing any shows. They had a live one in March that got canceled right when the virus kind of blew up, and then uh, they did a live stream though in May. Since I live here in LA, I'll keep my eyes peeled for uh, Sweet Talk Radio performances to see if I can get if I can get a, the inside scoop on them. I don't know if concerts are coming back or uh, what's the deal, but we'll hey, see. May, maybe we can get them uh, to join the pod. Yeah, yeah, we'll take them on as guests. Yeah, then we have a band called Parallel Anxiety, Parallel and Anxiety, with a song called Dreams for episode five. A guy named Nathan Wiley does North American Dream in episode seven. Lindsey Price with Melting in episode 10. Uh, we also find out that song plays later in season two, correct? <laughs> yes, uh, very irritatingly so, because I ended up being reminded of future plots for season two. 
And damn it, I was trying not to. I was rediscovering all of this. I was like watching it for the first time. And now I remember a whole damn line of the sh- about season two. Damn it. It's just a flash forward, you know? Now you can... It's going to give more depth to the moments in the now when you're like, oh, wow, it's going to be crazy when they get to this part. Uh, I'll, I'll try to look at that. <laughs> Thank you for being uh, ever optimist there. Next song is She's Gone by The Woods. Uh, I'd never heard of The Woods. Have you heard of The Woods? Never heard of them. Couldn't really even find anything on them. Yeah, I, I guess I hadn't even heard of any of these other groups. But I guess I had like, you know... Uh, when you hear Sweet Talk Radio, uh, or Lindsay Price, or uh, upcoming in a second, Melissa Ray Barry, you're like, oh, these sound, or yeah, obviously I knew Captain Tennille, but like, I've heard bands like this and stuff, or like, I, I might have stumbled upon this like at some point or something, or, you know, maybe in a store or something. I don't think I ever would have stumbled on the woods. No, I, I don't think I would have stumbled on, uh, you know, because none of these are really big, big acts outside, you know, Captain yeah. Tennille won Grammys and, you know, sold millions. So they're, they're, they're gigantic. But uh, like most of these aren't bands that really ever really broke it big. I mean, mm-hmm. I imagine Sweet Talk Radio does its own, does its own website and you know and all of that. Then our next song is "Room to Breathe" by Melissa Ray Berry. Very like like you know like very like pop country sound. Carrie Underwood, whatever you know, whoever. Else yeah, the, is... the new country new country sound where you got electric guitar and slide steel, which uh, give you a hint. I, I love slide steel, even though I'm not a huge country fan, but. Uh, it just makes a sound that's so distinct. Yeah. So there's that. That's in episode 12. Another episode 12 one's another song by The Woods called Mad at You. And then the last song in episode 13, the finale for season one, is Stuck in a Glass Elevator by The Myriad, who I had never heard of either. Yeah, I'd never, I'd never heard of them. Like what band would you compare The Myriad to? To me, when I, when I was listening to The Myriad, I immediately thought Radiohead, Tom York, in, in Rainbow's era of Radiohead, you know, he, let's face it, Haven couldn't afford to get Radiohead or Tom and Tom York to come on, you know, give him a song. So <laughs> let's get something that's close to it. Yeah. So that, that's what I thought when I heard it. It's what it reminded me of. So you thought it was like just a substitute for not being able to get, like, you know, know, they were like, oh, you know what? I really want Radiohead, but there's no way we can afford it. So let's find somebody who's similar. I would think someone made that de- made that decision because I'm telling you, it, you know, I, I'm a big In Rainbows fan. I listen to it at least once a month. Wow, that's how really? much I like it. And I'm, I'm not even making that up. That's not bullshit. I at least once a month listen all the way, pretty much all the way through Radiohead uh, In Rainbows album. Weird Fishes is just uh, it's a top ten song of all time, but uh, probably not your your style. Okay, so that's kind of all the songs. Yeah, I guess who would you compare? Uh, just to give the audience, like uh, obviously. You guys probably know Captain Tennille. It's very 70s. Um, so we talked radio. We talked about it was like folky. Uh, Nathan Wiley, what would you say that one kind of, what's a good comp? Like, what can we? Uh, he's a really blues rock guitarist type. So you would think of, uh, I won't say Stevie Ray Vaughan, because that's just more Southern flair. Yeah, I'm trying to, trying to think of exactly someone who, you know, like in the 90s, uh, they had this movie Empire Records, and they had yeah. this song by Edwin McCain, uh, you know, a girl like you, and uh, which is an incredible song. This is not it. That is not <laughs> it. But it's kind of like the you know ro- rootsy blues rock. I-, I don't go too far into it, but yeah, I wasn't a fan of it. It's not my style, um, and that's why I have a hard time finding other things like it because I don't really listen to that that style of music. I got a buddy that all he loves is blues rock. Every time he puts something on, is freaking blues rock and it drives me <laughs> insane you know I'm, I'm more indie pop and rock that's the list of uh li- list of so- songs on our uh, made up made up soundtrack that was uh, obviously never released because uh, you can't even find chance to dream <laughs> they were never allowed uh, allowed to release that at least that's the comments i was finding on youtube where people saying why won't haven folks let them release this song and i'm like well, maybe someday we'll have them on the pod, someone, and we can find out if they'll ever let that song go. <laughs> uh, did you listen to the Vicky D version? I did. I did. And uh, for whatever reason, I started thinking this was a, you know, it was a cover because I swear I heard something like it and kind of like the Vicky D style where it was, you know, really jazzy. And that's just something really cool about the t- two of them is like they're like two st- totally different songs just because of the way they perform them. Yeah, like, but the, the main one is like, like we said before, like more like folk poppy. And then right. Vicky D's is very like, like, you know, jazz club. Oh yeah. You, you, yeah there's a bunch of people dressed up in their finery, <laughs> uh, you know, smoking and drinking bourbon and yeah, getting, very down, like, getting groovy. 
Getting groovy. I don't know that's the right. That's not the right. <laughs> that's decade. not the right right uh, adjective. Yeah. It's very suave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like uh, elegant. Uh, like Jazz at Jacks in downtown Denver. Yeah, something like that. But it was cool. I I, I did like I like both versions. Obviously, you can only you can only hear Chance to Dream in the episode, and they're kind of talking over it, so it's a bit harder to like hear. I really like the Vicky D version, that kind of old school jazz club. Okay, so how do you think these songs like fit together? So if we were to really re- put all these songs on one CD, how's the cohesiveness? Obviously, our first song doesn't fit very well. Uh, just a note also for listeners um, that watch the show on YouTube. I'm sorry, not YouTube, on Netflix. Uh, some of the songs are changed. So I know Love Will Keep Us Together by Captain Tennille isn't in the Netflix version. Uh, I'm not sure if there might be other songs that you're missing. You're like, oh, wait a minute. You know, maybe the biggest Woods fan is out there and they're like, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That song's not in the episode. I would know. I'm a, the Woods fanatic. I'm a the Woods fanatic. Well, um, we're trusting. We're, we're, we're trusting, you know, <laughs> the information that we, you know, that we were able to find, you know, because especially considering at this time, you know, we haven't seen h- half of the season yet. Well, so. I'm just I'm just saying on Netflix, if some of these songs are contradictory, you're like, I didn't hear that. That's because the uh, Netflix version in certain instances don't pay for the licensing and they have different songs and in, in, uh, select cases. Well, yeah, there's no way they're gonna, uh, Netflix is going to pay for Captain and Tennille. I mean, that, that was like a Grammy hit. There's there's freaking circus right. music. But there's always weird things, right? Like on Scrubs, on Hulu and Netflix, they'll pay for U2's Beautiful Day, but they won't play. They won't pay for a Toad the Wet Sprocket song. I'm See, like, and that, 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 that's just a damn crime. Damn oh, crime. Oh, I just don't understand the logic where I'm like, you two has to be more expensive. Like, I, you know, it must be like licensing things. So it might be like whoever releases Scrubs, which I think is owned by ABC now, which is obviously owned by Disney, might, might, maybe has, you know, they own a studio that has the deal with you two. So like they can get you two songs for cheaper or free rather than. Well, tell, right. There might, there, there might be more to it. I'm just telling you. I, I, and I love you too. I'm, you know, I'm a big fan, but <laughs> not, not as much as I love Toad the Wet Sprocket. Speaking of which, I don't know if this is the right time for it, but Sweet Talk Radio has toured with Glenn Phillips, who is the lead singer of Toad the Wet Sprocket. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I, that's, I saw Toad. That's a, it's a coincidence. There's more little nuggets that, that we were able to find that we'll talk about <laughs> in, a, in a bit. But oh. when we go to, when we talk about does it, does it flow? I mean, obviously, Captain and Tennille's like nothing like nothing else. <laughs> yeah, on nothing it. like, I mean, yeah, you know, it's a, pretty a, outlier. A good Muppets episode from back <laughs> when I was a kid. And then maybe it was in somewhere in the back of my mind. <laughs> but Sweet Talk Radio, I think, really fits the show. Regarding the, the, the way the songs fit together, it, they're very, they're, they're very different styles throughout here. So, I mean, we got a, we got a country song. We've got... Uh, We've got like a blues rock song. Then we've got like the ethereal stuff of Sweet Talk Radio, you know, folky and acoustic mm. And then you got like a kind of like a pop breakup song in, uh, you know, Melting. We'll talk talk more about Melting. And then, you know, you got rockers like Mad At You and She's Gone by The Woods. And then you got this ambient uh, radio headish sounding uh, Stuck in a Glass Elevator. So they don't really fit together in a traditional album sense. But that's one of the things soundtrack albums often have different styles. I mean, now like it'd be one thing you go back to the '90s and something like a movie like Soul Food. Yeah, everything on there is R and B. You know, Batman the- Forever. <laughs> what about uh, Dreams by Parallel Anxiety? We didn't actually talk about how that one sounds. That one's a little bit more rocky as well. Yeah, Dreams. Dreams is really. Uh, you know, has a Joy Division sound, which is kind of mm. like, you know, early 80s, 80s English alternative, you know, Joy Division, which, you know, yeah. Joy Division, uh, Ian Curtis, the lead singer, hung himself. And then the rest of the band decided to go on and became uh, New Order. New Order. <laughs> New Order's freaking awesome. Absolutely love yeah. New Order. I like Joy Division, you know, so it, it really reminded me of, of that time. Uh, kind of current bands that were similar to that would be like the Editors, who are also English. And, you think uh, it sounds like the Editors? Uh, uh, some of the earlier Editors stuff. Yeah, I mean, after their, after their first two albums, they really stopped with the heavy guitar use. It was a lot more electronic after yeah. after that. Yeah, I would agree that the cohesiveness is pretty... It's almost like, obviously, Captain Tennille is the outlier. We talked about that. I think Melissa Ray Berry is a pretty outlier-y song as well, where it's like, it's like just this like pop country song. You're like, oh, okay. Like, I could see people in Haven listening to 
country music. To Melissa Ray Berry, though? Because it's not just country. It's pop country. There's a difference, you know? I could see their younger folks listening to it, right? How many you young? Know? What's the young? What's the, how, how young is Haven? Uh, I, many, I would say people early 30s and below would probably listen, you know, who like country would li- listen to that type of stuff. I feel would like they would to it. begrudgingly leave it on the radio, but be like, eh. What do you think? I'll uh, talk more about Melissa Ray Berry later. Let's let's do this. Which of all the main characters, which one, which one of these songs would be their favorites? So season one. Let's keep it a season one. Let's cut Edge out. So Audrey yeah. from this playlist. Because Edge Audrey's? would want Edge would want some workout music for you know he's in the gym and you know. He's, you don't know. We don't know. No, he's no, of course classic. not. I don't know Adam Copeland at all. So yeah, I don't know what you know. That that's the fun. It's all speculation. <laughs> it could come back. Yeah, you know, he's a big classical music fan and he wants to hear Vivaldi, you know, in the Four Seasons or some Chopin. All right. Thank you for listening to that limited sample of our sister series, Troubled with Extra Syrup. Once again, it's on Patreon. If you want to hear the rest of that episode, you can head over there. Uh, Join us for $3 a month. It's uh, the middle tier. $5 if you want director's cuts, but that's where the rest of those episodes will be if you want to hear the rest of all of these awesome extra episodes. Thank you for listening. Check you out next time. No, fuck. Check you out next time. Check you out. I don't know where that came from. How you you doing? (laughs) Well, you'll be listening to us hopefully in a week. Please keep listening to us.